Hey everybody, so it's another beautiful summer day here in the Keys. Uh, got a zero wind today, super flat calm. So we're gonna make the run out to the blue water. I've already stopped by and picked up some select size uh, pilchards, just a few. And uh, either going to do some uh, reef drifting just on the outer edge or maybe go out to the wrecks. So we'll see how it goes. I'm over here at the rocks. You can kind of see there's a little island sticking out, exposed. So we're about three miles from the shoreline there and but the clarity is really clean right now which is good good to see so hopefully by this spring we'll just have consistently clean water like this so looking good all right we made it out to the blue water as you can see it's another beautiful clean water i actually passed a uh, weed line it looks like the color change back there at about 200 feet uh, so I I think I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and just run out to the wrecks just for a little bit and then maybe come back to that weed line and uh, drift those pilchards uh, today's a kind of a risk day I went out yesterday and uh, my lower end unit there's a problem uh, upper RPMs it starts slipping and grinding like it's gonna fail on me so I took it apart this morning and there was no oil. There was just a couple tablespoons of oil on the lower end and it was water infused. It was gray and slush. So water got in there. So I don't know if I burned up bearings or what gears or whatnot, but it's not good. So on the way out, I could go about half throttle and it seems to be okay and get anything above that. And then I could feel it start to slowly slip and grind, <laughs> but uh, probably shouldn't have made the long run out here, but it seems to be working. So I'm just going to head out to the wrecks, play a little bit, and then start moving back just in case. So that's the plan. Okay, we are out at the wrecks. Uh, just doing my initial drift to see how we're floating. Get my directionals right. I did just realize I forgot to spool this reel. I lost a big chunk of line. I don't know if I can be able to drop 400 feet, but I've got my uh, big reel and I could do pilchards instead. So we're gonna just do a few test drops and see what happens. All right, let's get some work done here and see what we could do. Well, I did a couple of drifts jigging and got nothing. Not seeing any marks really. So I'm gonna switch over to dropping a pilchard down and see if there's anything floating that might be interested in this guy. So we shall see. Send him down to the depths. All right, we got something on here. It was hit it on the way down. Yeah, it's still there. I don't know how deep we are. It's hard for me to tell, to gauge the size of these fish on this reel dropping straight down. So that's why I don't do it very often. Ah, good old pump and wind. Good old low gear two speed to the rescue. 
Uh, just winch them up. I need a big old rod holder. They not even have to hold on to this thing. And then an electric reel, I'd be set. All right, off of two speed, back to work. Four hundred feet is not fun. the power of the two-speed low torque man I don't know if this is better than the small setup because I can't do lift and wind very good Longest fight ever. Oh, this is a. Oh, what do we got? Come on, leader. Let me really see ya. Oh, I'm on the weight. Ah, oh, big old amberjack. Ah, not very big. If I would have saw him earlier, I would let him decompress. Ooh, pulled that hook out. Ah, da, da. You can see all the little mites. Little fleas, little fleas. All right, man, that's a lot of work for this little dude. Oh. Sam Jack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, go home. All right, for this rig, using it just the same basic one, long leader. Um, only difference is I'm doubling up on the egg sinker, so I'm running two two ounces, so four ounces total, and that's really just because I'm at 400 feet. And I don't want to have to go so far off for the drift, although there's not much current underwater or on top of the water, so it's not too bad. But this just gets you into the zone a little bit quicker and it'll help you keep uh, stay vertical. Not as important as when you're vertical jigging, but it is nice to be able to kind of keep that down and uh, stay right over it. And unfortunately, I don't have a gauge on this setup or a good feel for a line capacity to know how low I am. So I just got to play with it. But man, oh, 400 feet fighting is, is some business. All right, there we go. Not very big, whatever it is. Figure it's either a bonita or a tuna. I guess it could be an almaco, but generally don't get the almacos this far out. All right, just keep constant pressure on them so it don't kick the hook. Man, I gotta be getting close here. Ugh. I haven't really caught much, but I think I'm gonna go back into the reef. This 400 foot thing is 
that's for when I'm in shape. <laughs> there it is. Looking like an Elmaco. Yep. That is what it is. Oh, you're hooked good. You can stop. You can stop. Damn, stop. Man, he is not tired at all. Whew, lots of work. All right, I guess you want to be free. <laughs> I'm moved back in. I'm in just right on the uh, secondary reef or the bar. Uh, probably a little less than a mile from the uh, edge of the reef. Figured it'd be a better idea to come in than to get stuck and broken down way out there by the wrecks. So I'm just going to see if I can get a Hail Mary uh, Pelagic, hopefully. That's what we're shooting for today. Get out of there. No. No. Come on. Let go. You come up. I know you're still on there. Couldn't stop him. Let him see if I can get him to swim out. This is on my swim bait. Ah, locked up. I got him out. Got him up. Keep coming. Ugh. Come on. They're not going back down. They're not going back down. <laughs> I use my pedals to go up current. My Hail Mary fish. Yay, nice red. <laughs> All I wanted was a good fight and you gave me one. But I outsmarted you, you fatty. Yeah, that's right, buddy. I win. Not taking my jig. Bam. Nice fat guy. That beautiful red mouth there. All right, this is my I get to go home fish. There it goes. One last look there. Yay. <laughs> Ah, oh, yay, get to go home. Don't splash me. Right down. Yay! <laughs> and on a good note, got that nice grouper using that same size. I think if I went went to the five inch one, it might not have bit. For some reason, these is these are the size. Everything likes this size. But use those uh, jig heads that I did and it held up. I mean, I pulled hard to try to pull them out of that rocks and didn't bend at all. So happy with that. All right, Hail Mary fish, check. <laughs> I'm calling it a day. I've got half an hour, 45 minutes to get back. So I'll probably get back in the dark. Uh, if this survives, <laughs> I got to just kind of cruise it. So it might take a little bit longer than usual, but not whole heck of a lot of uh, action, but 
pretty nice summer day, so I'm not going to pass it up. Nice, flat, and calm. Unfortunately, it gets blown out tomorrow. I think this evening, tonight, it just goes right back to 2025s. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just one day or two days, but we've got these ups and downs, so just going to fish it while I can. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're uh, hitting these uh, smaller YouTube fishing channels. So I'm putting them on my end screen so you can kind of click on them as well in the description. Give those guys some support. We've got till the February 20th before the YouTube enacts their new rules. So just subscribe to them, get their numbers up. So anyways, thanks again. I'll see you hopefully in the car. <laughs>